And welcome once again to another episode of Stu Him Productions Presents JM Solve the World Alcohol, Alcohol Review. Review. What do we got here tonight, Matthew? Well, uh, tonight we have Blackened. Now, Blackened is uh, it's a blended whiskey, mm. uh, straight whiskeys, and it's finished in uh, black brandy ca- uh, casks. Right. Now, what makes it so unique is, and this is before the band Metallica got involved with it, mm-hmm. but they used Metallica music to agitate the barrels. During the aging process. Right. Right. And on every bottle, there's a batch number. Mm-hmm. Now, if you go to their website, uh, it is blackenedwhiskey.com. I'll put that like right about here. And uh, you put in your batch number. It's going to tell you what member of Metallica chose the playlist right. and then what the playlist actually is. Right. So our bottle is batch number 116. Okay. Now, and this is off their website, so I'm going to read it uh, verbatim. Uh, playlist 116 or batch number 116 was selected and arranged by Kirk Hammett. Cool. Uh, song number one, Lover Man. And that, of course, comes off of the Garage Incorporated mm-hmm. album. Uh, the next song is Welcome Home Sanitarium, uh, off of Puppets. Right. Harvester of Sorrow, off of Justice. Justice. Uh, Moth into Flame, which is hardwired for, to self-destruct. Hard, hardwired to self-destruct, yep. yep. Uh, and then 2 by 4 which is off of the Black Album, if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to go back and look, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't recognize it by name, but I'm I know I know the song. It, no, it is it. Um, fuck, or or load, something like that. Might have been load or yeah. reload. Uh, through the never. Okay. Uh, die die my darling off of Garage Incorporated. Garage Incorporated. And finally, Metal Militia. Ah, off, off of, of Kill, em Kill All. All. Sweet. So. Um, you know, it, and it's it's one of those things that it's very unique. Um, and again, as you can tell, we didn't. Uh, it's not a full bottle. We we've sampled it once or twice, uh, or more. It's been it's been a while though. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it has. Um, and we've never really did a review on it. It was just right. like, yeah, okay, yeah, that, that that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right. Uh, so tonight, or this afternoon, which whatever time you're you're watching this, uh, or five o'clock in the morning. I mean, it is or whatever. Yeah. yeah, whatever you watch this. I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere. Exactly. Now, whether that's five a.m. or five p.m. Eh, yeah, tomato, tomato. Hmm. You can't be a pirate if you don't start drinking in the morning. That's right. Just saying. So, with that being said. Here we go. Salud. Salud. So first off, definitely have a whiskey. Um, Bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely get that um, that sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, felt that up in up in the nose. Oh yeah. And um, got a burn. It it, it does. Um, it's not. You know, it's not a kerosene lighter fluid burn. No, you know, no. It, it's not a well bourbon burn. Right. Um. It you does. Get, ha- it you, does you, have a unique taste. You can sit. You know, if you just sit there and kind of concentrate, you can taste the charcoal mm-hmm. and uh, different stuff right. that the bourbon makers. And we and we drank it at the proper temperature for tasting bourbon, which is yes. room temperature or a little above. Yes. Um. Yeah, I mean it's good. I mean I could see I could drink it over over ice. Just. You know, in a. In a rocks glass, I I, I could I could sip on it, you know. I see this uh, cool, brisk fall evening. Bonfire. Bonfire. 
bonfire, sitting around a bonfire, over ice. Yeah, not 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 a. I mean, yeah, if you were doing or, a, the or, party thing, oh shots. Yeah, part. no. Uh, maybe not. Well, I mean, I can see bonfire because that's what we do out here in the country. Mm-hmm. Or if you're in the city and you got your little your little wood uh, or fire gas pit. fire pit, whatever, yeah. out on your patio, you know, yeah. sitting out and having a couple of days, you know, and yeah. Yeah, I can, and this coming from a guy who used to be a bourbon guy, who's, yeah. I'm a scotch man now, but yeah, I like it, it's, you know, it's not, I don't want to compare it to any other name. No, see, so for me, it's it's got that, uh, that, that dark charcoal flavor, mm-hmm. like Jack Daniels, mm-hmm. but then it's got that, um, for me, it, it's got that like that regal sort of uh, aftertaste, like Crown. Yeah, like like regular or Crown, even higher end bourbons. Yeah, um, which it is. I mean, yes. If we want to go cost wise, it's yeah. it's not cheap. No, I mean it's not it's not stupid high. No, it, it's not a, a a Basil Hayden or right. uh, Frank Sinatra, was it fucking Jack Daniels, forty-ish dollars. Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean that's not stupid. You know, no, I mean that's not two or three hundred dollars a fucking bottle type yeah. bullshit. You know, but it, it's not a ten-dollar bottle of plastic ten high. Right, <laughs> right. I'm just saying. Shout out, Chris. Um. So, what do you give it on the thumb scale? Um. I'm going to give it one and a half. One and a half thumbs. One and a half thumbs. Okay. Just um, because, like I say, I'm not really a bourbon right. drinker anymore. But, yeah, I could sit down and have a couple glasses of it, you know, over ice. And, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I, it's it's not bad. After, after a couple minutes mm-hmm. sitting here, um, you know, my, my mouth isn't so wet. Mm-hmm. And it's not like, whew. Right. Damn. No, it, it it it's good. Right. Um, I'm gonna give it one and three quarter thumbs. Okay. So we're looking at three and a quarter thumbs. Right. And uh So two three of ours. Yes. And one of Oh shit, who was we talking about the other night with Oh my god. Transformers. Everybody talked about she had short thumbs, but we're like... Oh, oh Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Yep, yep. So, three of our thumbs, and one of Megan Fox's thumbs. Yes. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, find Blackened Whiskey. You can go to blackenedwhiskey.com. Uh, when you get a bottle, you can put in the batch number, which is right up here. And, of course, the bottle, a close-up of the bottle, will show up right about... Now, right. and um, you know, check it out and uh, get yourself a bottle. The thing, I, the thing I'd be like interested in is getting a different batch number. Yes, with a different playlist. Right, and and just you know, if you can compare the two. Right, you know, see if there's a difference between the James playlist and the Kirk playlist or the Lars, Lars playlist or the Robert, or the Robert yeah. you know, yeah, or or the band playlist. Right. Um, yeah, I, I'd see if like that to makes know. A, see if that makes a difference in the in the taste, you know. Right. I mean, because you got to realize the way this music mm-hmm. was pumped in there and agitates the barrels right. during the aging process. It's the way the songs come out, you right. know, in the order they come out, fast, slow, whatever. I mean, I mean, does it make it does it make a difference or die die my darling? Just starts off just, like die, heavy. Die. Yeah. But then sanitarium, mm-hmm. it kind of builds up to it. Uh, through the never, um, lover man, mm-hmm. you know, it, it starts off big and then it dips down and then it's back up mm-hmm. and then it's down. So it's, you got that roller coaster and it's like, okay, right. what's it going to sound like? Yeah. Or what's going to taste Tastes like? like? Yeah. Curious. So until next time, three and a quarter thumbs. For the blackened whiskey, 
Um, you've just watched another episode of Stu Him Productions Presents. JM Solve the World Alcohol, Alcohol Review. Review. I have been James. And I've been Matt. And until next time, you keep one fist in the gold, one foot in the gutter, and we will be seeing you. Peace.